What's up WordPress nerds? In today's video, we're gonna be going over how to create a short code from scratch. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and with notifications on to make sure you get notified of my weekly WordPress videos. And on top of that, if you are looking for the best caching plugin for WordPress, I highly recommend WP Rocket. It is my favorite caching plugin for WordPress. And if you use the link in the description, I get a small kickback, but the price is the same to you. It's just a small way of supporting the channel. And you get a great caching plugin on top of it. All right, so uh, short codes are, are things that you guys have probably seen on occasion. It's just usually starts with these two square brackets and then you have the name of the short code inside of here, like my short code or something like that. And you can pass in little attributes as well. You can do something like hello equals world or something like that, you know? Um, and on top of that, you can also have um, a starting and an ending short code and some content inside. And so what we're going to be looking at today is how to create a default short code, a short code with attributes and some short code with content inside. So the way that you go about doing that is you come over here. I have um, something required in my uh, functions.php just called shortcodes.php. And all you have to do is a really simple function just called add short code. And here, kind of like what my auto autocomplete is telling us, is that the first thing is the tag. That's just what we want the short code to be called, and that's how um, it will be entered in into the editor. So in this case, we'll just do WPC for WP casts. And so that means something will look like this. And that will output whatever this callable returns. So we're just going to do an anonymous function here. And if we just return hello world, we can just save that. We can go back. Um, we can do WPC right here, hit update, and we can open it up in a new tab. And then it says hello world down here at the bottom kind of middle area right there. So it's as easy as that to get started with short codes, but obviously we want to go a little bit further here. So what we're gonna be doing is uh, there's two things that get passed to our uh, uh, function here. Uh, there's gonna be ads, which are the attributes, and then there's also gonna be content, and that's gonna be null um, by default. Uh, content we'll talk about here in a second. So actually, let's just get rid of that because we'll talk about that. I don't want to have that in there while we're talking about attributes. So the way that you get attributes into a short code is you have to do a little something like this. We're going to start with attributes. Um, did I spell that right? Yeah, attributes equals, and then we have a function called short code at, and that's going to take in two arrays. We're not going to worry about the third parameter. Um, short code at um, takes in first a, a an array of defaults. So things that uh, we'll, um, we'll use in case uh, the user doesn't input anything in themselves. So we'll just do like, you know, default one is equal to my first default value. And then we can do the same thing here. Default two is equal to my second default value. And so what this kind of sets up is default values one and two, we can do, um, it'll look a little something like this. It'll be like uh, WPC default one is equal to hello and default two is equal to world, something like that. And so, but um, in this case, you know, I mean, this is hello in world is what like the user would put in if they didn't, if they left, you know, this entire thing out, it uh, would just be like this and it would just use my de first default value and my second default value. So let's kind of take a look here. So the second um, attribute here is actually just passing in what we received up here. So we're just gonna delay, uh, delete this part right here and that's all you need. Uh, so what we would then do is return something from our attributes. So let's just do uh, default one is equal to 
and then we'll do like a space and then we'll do attributes uh, default one we'll do another space and we'll do default I guess we don't have to do that we can do default two is equal to attributes default two something like that and then so whatever we uh, enter in for default one and default two will output into the string and if we don't do anything we should get these default values so let's uh, give that a try we'll edit this uh, post again and we'll say default one is equal to hello and default two is equal to world let's update that oops sorry Yep, okay, so we now we have default one is equal to hello, and default two is equal to world. And so if we were to actually remove all of these, we're not overwriting the defaults at this point. Now we have default one is equal to my default value and default two is equal to my second default value. So now you can kind of understand how um, attributes and overwriting attributes works. Uh, a uh, way that uh, you know it's a nice a nice way to do this might be like you know like a button or something like that and you could say you know these could be like classes or something like that and then so somebody can pass in different classes like uh, so this would be button primary or something like that and so if anybody wanted to overwrite it or maybe even just wanted to have uh, you know button type or type something like that you could say primary and then you know somebody could override it be secondary or hollow or you know whatever that kind of uh, thing you want going on there completely up to you so we've covered the first two scenarios we've shown that if you just have you know a plain um short code like this we've also shown how you can do you know um, pass in attributes um you know, something like that uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to make it so you can do uh, a starting and an ending and have something on the inside uh, the, it's actually a lot easier than it may look you don't really have to do too much to anything special so we're just going to take in the content that's going to equal to null by default and what you would do is you would just say um, oh let's just let's just return the content whatever whatever is inside of there and we can we can output it so if we just have it's not going to do anything crazy here but if we do yo 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 yo, yo update all it's going to output is yo 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 so that's where content is it's whatever is in between the starting and ending so you don't really have to do anything special so uh kind of more of like a practical example of how this might work is let's take um like a tool tip, like that's not something you really get out of the box or anything like that. So let's kind of take a look at uh, how this might work. So you could you do something, let's uh, grab this. I wrote this up previously. Let's just uh, go down into footer.php right at the end. All we're doing grabbing is uh, tippy. It's just a, a tool tip library. It's pretty popular. I'm grabbing some CSS, some uh, just stuff from their CDN. We are not going to go through the whole thing of setting up like a build process just to get tippy in here, but we're just saying anything with the class of tips, uh, um, we're going to instantiate tippy on, and we're going to say that the content is just the whatever, whatever we put in the title attribute. Um, so let's save that. And so let's uh, start our HTML. So we're going to do a span with a class of tips, and we're going to end that span. And we're gonna say that whatever we get in the content is gonna be right here. You know? um, let's just comment this out for now. And let's uh, take a look here, make sure I didn't miss anything. Yes, I did miss something. So we gotta do the actual title. So this is gonna be what the, so this is gonna be the text of whatever um, is, uh, you know, 
uh, going to be in line, and then title is going to be the contents of the uh, tooltip. So we're going to say we're going to make this uh, low. Let's say the attribute we want to say tip is default tip, and let's get rid of this guy. And we'll say that attributes tip. All right, let's give that a try. Refresh. I uh, didn't need to refresh. It's just a habit of mine. So we've got our text. This is the text. And let's say that the tip is hello world, something like that. So we've got, this is the text and we can hover over it and say, hello. Um, do we, we do that? Yeah, there we go. If it's got a space or anything there, you gotta do that. So there we go. Now we have a, a tool tip that says, hello world. And we can do that anytime that we've got, you know, this is the text. And so, uh, you can get really creative, obviously, with short codes. I mean, there's entire page builders that are built off of this, off tooltips like Divi and WP Bakery, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, I personally use short codes with tooltips, actually. Um, so that's why I kind of use this example. Um, another thing that is if we, we have them using like logos. So if you have a logo that's being reused or images that are being reused on hundreds of different pages, then you could use a short code and you can reference that short code versus an image. And then you can just change the image in one place in your code and it will change everywhere across the site. You don't have to worry about um, going to each individual page, updating the image. So you can use this to your advantage, um, is especially as a developer. Um, it's not just to help out content, uh, the content teams or the clients or anything like that. So long story short, this is just a quick intro into tooltips. If there's something more that you'd like to know about tooltips, uh, hit me up in the comment section down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you um, are uh, interested in more advanced tutorials, I have a Patreon where I go over kind of more uh, advanced stuff. And I'd like to thank my patrons who have been supporting me um, on the Patreon account and uh, we do a new video every single month uh, for all those who are patrons. Um, so long story short, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.